I've been living in Calgary for a little while now, and I'm noticing that native Calgarians are throwing the term Chinook around quite loosely. Recently, I had the chance to sit down with a University of Calgary professor, and we talked all that is hot air. People most often get confused when they feel warm air in the winter. It could easily be a, a southerly push of air. To be called a Chinook, it has to be actually warmer than the normal high temperature for that day. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a warm, dry, gusty wind. I mean, uh, many people welcome the warmth of the, uh, and the reprieve of a, of a cold winter. Many others feel annoyed and irritated by the strong winds. Um, they often uh, come uh, when we've had a cold temperatures, and so we'll quickly see that upward revision of air temperature. Uh, they, they do happen in summer, but if you've just happened to have been in warm air prior to those conditions setting up, then they're, least, they're, they're less likely to be noticed. Very characteristic in Calgary is what we observe as a Chinook arch. This arch of cloud that extends from horizon to horizon. When we feel this warm air come in the winter, uh, when the previous temperatures have been very cold, um, it, it may give us an indication that a Chinook event is coming. Um, and, and if we look to the west and see the Chinook arch, that's a guarantee that, that this is likely a, a Chinook event. It uh, comes at us from a, a westerly or southwesterly component. We also need the, the wind speed to be quite uh, strong. That's about 16 or 17 kilometers an hour. Now we need that strength of wind so that the air, when it's flowing across the mountains and comes down the leeward side of the mountains, it has a, a, a force behind it to warm compressionally. So it's a very gusty wind uh, amongst a very strong wind. As that air is compressed and warmed and it makes its way into Calgary, the air temperature gets a boost um, and we've observed uh, temperature increases of, of 20 to 30 degrees Celsius in the matter of just a, a few hours. When that air temperature gets shot upwards, that coincides perfectly with a, a drop in the relative humidity. So it becomes now a very dry and gusty wind. When you have the wind flowing perpendicular uh, to the mountain range such that it, it, it flows over the mountain range and can warm by compression, that's a condition to, to get a, a warm compressional wind into a, into a region. The, the rise in temperature, the, the drop in the humidity, and the shift to that westerly component, we need it all to happen at the, ver at the same time. And if, if some of those things don't happen all at the same time, then there's something else unusual going, up, going on about that wind. It, it may just, in fact, be a warm southerly uh, push from the south. But when all those things line up in time, then it's very much defined as a Chinook event. So the next time the temperature rises a few degrees or the wind picks up a few kilometers and someone tells you that's a Chinook, you can tell them they're full of hot air. It may just be a southerly wind. For Shaw TV, I'm Brett Hopper.